I'm Anu Neves, hi. Um, I'm a Paralympic athlete and um, I competed in uh, uh, London 2012 and in Rio 2016. I do a 400, 200 and 100 and the class and the category I'm in is a T47 which is a, 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 bar, a below arm amputee. So um, when I was born, my parents didn't know I had a congenital arm amputation. Um, so it was quite a, quite a journey for us as a, as a family, um, trying to kind of let me grow up normal, teach me ways where I can use my hand and try and like have a, um, like a normal lifestyle. And I think that was quite difficult for them as well because they didn't prepare for it. And at the age of nine, um, I had the privilege, I had a friend in primary school and she introduced me to running. And um, since that, it was history actually, and athletics helped me to get self-confidence as a person. Um, and also my disability then was not kind of seen. Um, it was a place where I, um, I have a gift that God gave me and a platform that I can use. And all my freckles and my curly hair and my fair skin and my little hand and my disability kind of, not faded, but it kind of, um, I kind of became solid. Um, and athletics was that part that made me solid. I was bullied quite a lot um, for, being, for being different and I think I want to empower people and females especially um, to love their body and to love themselves for who they are and um, I think that's a difficult thing. We're very judgmental sometimes about females, what you're wearing, how you look and you're overweight and you're this and that and you're clothes on from there um, and I think that's a part where I feel we just truly need to um, fest our eyes um, on the person and what's beautiful from, the, um, from them. Um, and not compare ourselves. I think that's where I struggled. I compared how I look. Um, my skin doesn't look like the person on the cover of the magazine. Um, my body doesn't look that way. Um, and I just need to love my body for what it is. Definitely on the sporting, it would be Alison Felix. She's a, a pro Olympic athlete. And as a Paralympic athlete, I really look, look at her as a empowering and as a very good role model to young girls and to females having babies and in sport especially because it's definitely a different playground, playground for us um, to go back to sport when you have a baby. Um, and I think the most powerful thing is she's vulnerable on her Instagram and Facebook and interviews and she shares the real hard things in life and the challenges. She does not just portray the image of I want a medal, she goes into deep injuries, into things difficult, financial difficulties. Um, all those things that we struggle with as females as well. Body changing when you get older, it gets tougher to train. And she kind of uses her platform to tell um, young females and females out there that it's a struggle and I like that about it. I think we, we're sometimes compared quite a lot um, in terms of, you know, she did that, um, you can do better. So I think that's one of the things that is negative. Um, the beauty of it is we can, um, off the sporting field, we can see, see females in a different light. Um, their style, what they like, um, dressing up, and that coming to this interview was, what shoes am I gonna wear? Like, and that's the beauty of being a female as well. It's not just being that, sporty type of thing it's off the uh, off the track as well and off the sporting field that you can dress up and just be you so i actually have two things i have a bible verse that's uh, that i played quite a big role in my life it says for i know the plans i have for you the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope in the future and it's crazy like how many times i've seen that verse um, and just to kind of put your feet back on and stay humble and also remember that there is a plan with you being the way you are. And I think that helped me. Um, and people along your road will be there for you, for who you are. Um, and people that are gonna be judgmental and challenge you, they make you grow. Um, and I think sometimes that's, you know, that verse um, keeps me going. And I think after this COVID-19, I've learned to really invest um, time into people and to listen to their stories.